The future of jet engines could be right in front of us, but it's not what you expect. The CFM Rise engine promises to revolutionize air travel with unprecedented efficiency, but will it truly change the skies, or is it just another overhyped concept? Today, we'll dive into what makes this engine so different and why Boeing isn't entirely convinced. For decades, airlines have relied on engines that are powerful, but far from perfect. As fuel prices soar and environmental pressures mount, the need for a more efficient engine has never been greater. Enter the CFM Rise engine, promising to deliver 20% better fuel efficiency. With its groundbreaking open fan design and advanced materials, this engine could redefine the future of aviation. But new technology always comes with its challenges. While Airbus is exploring ways to integrate it, Boeing has voiced concerns. Could this innovation really be the future? Or will it require a radical shift in aircraft design to succeed? Did you know the jet engines powering most planes today are based on technology from the 1960s? That's right, while our smartphones have evolved at lightning speed, our engines are still stuck in the past. Fuel prices have been a thorn in the aviation industry's side since the 1970s oil crisis. As fuel costs soared, airlines scrambled for more efficient aircraft. In response, turboprop aircraft surged in popularity for short-haul routes due to their better fuel economy compared to jets. But as soon as fuel prices stabilized, airlines shifted back to faster, quieter jets, favoring passenger comfort and speed over pure efficiency. In recent years, engines like the CFM Leap and Pratt & Whitney's geared turbofan have provided a much-needed boost in efficiency, offering around 15% better fuel consumption compared to their predecessors. These engines now power modern fleets like the Airbus A320neo and Boeing 737 MAX. Their bypass ratios, up to 12.1, push more air at lower speeds, increasing efficiency without sacrificing speed. However, even with these advancements, the industry is facing unprecedented pressure. Rising fuel costs are only part of the equation. Environmental regulations and climate-conscious passengers demand cleaner, greener flights. Despite all this, the current engine designs can only take us so far. This is why the need for revolutionary technology, like the CFM Rise, becomes crucial. It's no longer about small improvements. The industry needs a leap forward. So, if modern engines have already improved by 15%, what makes the CFM Rise so special? How can it push efficiency even further? The answer lies in its revolutionary design. Unlike conventional engines, the CFM Rise introduces an open fan architecture, allowing for a bypass ratio of up to 21, nearly double that of the best engines currently in use. This means the engine pushes significantly more air at lower speeds, dramatically increasing fuel efficiency. But it's not just about the fan. The Rise engine incorporates advanced materials that can withstand much higher temperatures, allowing it to operate more efficiently without sacrificing power. These innovations could lead to a 20% reduction in fuel consumption, which is a game-changer in an industry desperate to cut costs and emissions. Another key feature is its use of a gear reduction system, similar to Pratt & Whitney's geared turbofan, which allows the fan to rotate slower than the turbine, optimizing both components. However, the Rise engine's unshrouded fan design further reduces drag, something that conventional turbofans can't achieve. In theory, these breakthroughs could deliver both environmental and financial benefits, cutting operational costs for airlines while reducing their carbon footprint. But with such a drastic departure from conventional designs, the big question remains, can this engine really deliver on its promises? Despite all the potential, Boeing isn't convinced, and their concerns could ground the CFM rise before it even takes off. Boeing has voiced serious doubts about the rise engine. While the promise of a 20% improvement in fuel efficiency is enticing, Boeing is hesitant for several reasons. One of their biggest concerns is the installation weight of the Rise engine. The unshrouded open fan design requires larger fan blades, which means the engine could be more challenging to install on existing aircraft without significant modifications. This could lead to increased overall weight, affecting the plane's performance and fuel savings. There's also worry about aerodynamic challenges. The open fan design creates new airflow patterns that could potentially cause instability, especially in crosswinds or during takeoffs and landings. Boeing is particularly cautious about how these airflow dynamics might interfere with their future aircraft designs, especially the highly anticipated transonic truss-braced wing concept. But Boeing's biggest concern? Safety. While modern composites reduce the risk of fan blade failure, 
the open fan design still raises concerns about containment in the event of a blade-out event, especially with birds or foreign objects. Boeing's skepticism could slow the widespread adoption of the Rise engine, especially if they opt for more traditional designs. So, can these challenges be overcome? Boeing's hesitation might be holding back what could be the most important breakthrough in jet engine technology in decades. While Boeing has valid concerns, many experts argue that the benefits of the CFM rise far outweigh the risks. The open fan design may introduce challenges, but engineers have made significant advancements in materials and aerodynamics. Advocates of the Rise engine highlight its potential to not only cut fuel costs by 20%, but also drastically reduce carbon emissions, an increasingly important factor as environmental regulations tighten worldwide. Other aircraft manufacturers, and even some within Boeing's ranks, see the Rise as an inevitable step forward. They point to the success of previous groundbreaking technologies, like the geared turbofan, which faced similar skepticism before proving its worth. Critics of Boeing's caution believe that sticking to conventional designs could leave them behind as other companies, like Airbus, are more open to experimenting with next-gen engines. However, opponents of the Rise remain firm, believing the complexity of integration and safety concerns might lead to delays, cost overruns, or worse, performance issues. The debate is far from settled, and the future of this technology will largely depend on how Boeing and the rest of the industry decide to move forward. What happens if Boeing doesn't embrace the CFM rise? Will the future of aviation innovation be left to other players? Regardless of Boeing's hesitation, the CFM rise is forging ahead. With strong backing from Safran and General Electric, CFM is moving forward with plans to develop and test this engine over the next few years. The potential 20% fuel savings and significant emissions reductions make it an attractive option for airlines that are looking to cut operating costs and meet stricter environmental regulations. The open fan design, while unconventional, has drawn interest from other aircraft manufacturers, including Airbus, which has shown a greater willingness to experiment with new technology. In fact, Airbus's own next-generation Single Isles NGSA, project could potentially be a perfect match for the Rise engine, as it looks to push the boundaries of both efficiency and sustainability. The next major milestone will be testing. By 2028, CFM aims to have the Rise engine in the skies, gathering crucial data to prove its performance. If successful, the industry could see a wave of new aircraft designed around this engine, possibly even forcing Boeing to reconsider their stance in order to remain competitive. The real question is not whether the Rise engine will move forward, but rather, how long it will take for the aviation industry to fully embrace this leap in technology. Will Boeing join the movement, or will they risk being left behind as the future of flight evolves? What do you think about the future of jet engines? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinions. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on the latest updates in aviation technology.